Hello, for this problem we have a 400 kilogram wrecking ball. Uh, it's supported by a cable uh, 15 degrees from vertical and it's resting against a surface that is uh, at a 45 degree angle. Uh, so what we're asked to find in this problem we need to find the tension in the cable up here and the normal force that exists between the wrecking ball and the surface. Alright, so step one in our equilibrium analysis is going to be to draw a free body diagram and so we draw our wrecking ball down here. We're going to have a gravity force, the weight of this thing. Um, and since this is metric, uh, I need to convert this to newtons. So I have 400 kilograms. Uh, I'm assuming it, I'm at sea level, uh, so I'm going to assume, assume 9.81 newtons per kilogram. Um, so Fg is going to be equal to 400 times 9.81 and the units of that are going to be newtons. I'm going to have a normal force Fn right here. Uh, that's going to be at, it's going to be perpendicular to the surface so this is going to be either 45 degrees from either horizontal or vertical. Uh, it doesn't matter here. Alright, and the tension force on the top that's going to be 15 degrees from vertical. Alright, so all three of these, this is a concurrent force system, they all have lines of action that go through the center point here. Uh, so we're going to treat this like a particle, we're going to have two equilibrium equations, sum of forces in the x and sum of forces in the y. Uh, so if we look at sum of forces in the x, we need to find all the x components of our forces. Uh, that's going to be T times the sine, it'd be the opposite side of my triangle, sine of 15. And then the normal force is in the negative, what I'm going to call the negative x direction, so I need to label my axes. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so negative x direction is negative Fn um, times the cosine of 45. Um, and then the gravity force, that's all in the y direction, so there's nothing there. Uh, so sum of all those x components need to be equal to zero. Do the same thing for sum of forces in the y direction. Uh, I'm going to have the tension force, it's going to be T cosine of 15. Normal force is also going to be positive. It's going to be plus Fn times the sine of 45. Uh, whenever you have forces like this in X and Y, you're always going to have a sine-cosine pair, um, but the order uh, is really, it could change either way, depending on if you're measuring from vertical or horizontal. All right, last part is going to be the gravitational force, so minus 400 times 9.81 uh, and the sum of all the y components is going to be equal to zero. All right, so now I need to start solving for the variables. I've got two unknowns in each of my equations, so I'll need to solve for one variable in terms of the other, and then substitute in that value. Uh, so let's look at the top equation. I'm going to bring this down here. I can solve for t, and t is going to be equal to cosine 45 over sine 15 times Fn. All right, I can substitute in this value in for T right here. So if I bring this down, if I do cosine of 45 over sine 15 uh, times Fn, and this whole thing gets multiplied by the cosine of 15. Plus Fn sine 45 equals, if I do 400 times 9.81, it's going to be 3,924 newtons. Alright, so there's only one unknown in this whole thing. If I use 
uh, some algebra and I solve for Fn, I should find that my normal force is going to be equal to 1,172.7 newtons approximately, and my tension force is going to be 3,000. I'm going to solve. Uh, sorry, plug this normal force value back in up here. Solve for T, and I get 3,203.9 newtons. So with that, I've solved for my two unknown forces. Um, and I've got those down here. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.